Density Concepts and Calculations. All right, so let's talk a little bit about density. Now, density is a physical property, and it's def defined as a substance's mass divided by its volume. So you can see the simple equation here. Density is mass divided by volume, or often just D equals M divided by capital V. Now, um, it's usually a measured property of a substance, um, so you should definitely use it when you are determining significant figures for a calculation. And density overall has derived units, just like velocity. So some really common units for, uh, for density include grams per milliliter, that's often for liquids, grams per centimeter cubed, often used for solids, grams per liter, kilograms per liter, and even kilograms per meter cubed. So you'll see these. Now the most common ones that we're going to see, grams per milliliter or grab, uh, grams per centimeter cubed. All right, so here's just some examples of some densities of various substances. So the wa uh, density of water, one gram per milliliter or one gram per centimeter cubed. So remember, centimeter cubed equals one milliliter. One centimeter cubed, one milliliter. Uh, gold, 19.3, so a lot more dense, okay? Mercury, less dense than gold. Uh, air, 0 0.0012 grams per milliliter. Cork, you know, somewhere between 0.22 and 0.26. Aluminum, about 2.7, and iron, 7.87. Now, you can use density uh, as a conversion factor for switching between units of mass and volume. So it is really, really useful for that. Now, let's say you have a sample of aluminum and it has a volume of 7.88 centimeter cubed. How can you determine what mass of aluminum you have without measuring it? And basically what you can do is you can use the known density and the known volume, which is right here, 7.88 centimeters cubed, and you can uh, start with the density equation. So we have the volume, we have the density, we can solve for mass, and when we do that, we're going to find out that volume multiplied by density is going to give us the mass. So in this case, we have 7.88 centimeters cubed volume multiplied by 2.7 grams per centimeter cubed. Notice how the centimeter cubed uh, cancels out, and that's just going to leave us with grams, so we have 21 grams of aluminum. Now, remember, we, density is a measured quantity, so we need to limit our answer to two sig figs, which we have right here. All right, let's do another one. Uh, what is the mass of 44.6 milliliters of mercury? So why don't you go ahead and try that? So D equals M over V, and you have the, uh, the density for mercury in the table previously. All right, so let's go through that. Um, so we're going to use the density for mercury from the table, and if you don't have it on a table, you can always look it up online. Um, and we're going to go uh, from volume to mass in this case. So the density of mercury is 13.6 grams per milliliter. We are starting with milliliter, so we want to use grams per milliliter as opposed to grams per cubic centimeter. Um, we're going to solve for M, so we're going to solve for our mass, okay? And when we do that again, we're going to find out volume multiplied by the density is going to give us our mass of mercury because we'll have only grams. So the centimeters cubed will cancel out and we end up with 606.56 grams of mercury. Now, we have too many uh, digits there, don't we? Because our density is 13.6. That's three significant figures. We need to limit our answer to three significant figures. So one, two, three. The next number is five, that means we're going to round up, so we're going to have 607 grams of mercury. All right, now we can also use density to go from mass to volume, but you have to watch out to make sure that your units cancel. So here's the density of gold, 19.3 grams per milliliter. Now um, we, want to, uh, we want to put that in terms of a conversion factor. And so density can be written, it's usually written like this, 19.3 and then grams per milliliter. But what isn't said is that the number is assumed to be in the numerator. So it's actually 19.3 grams per one milliliter, okay? So that's the way that you should read all of these, uh, these densities. 19.3 grams for every one milliliter of volume. 
One is an exact number, so we're not going to use it in our significant figures calculation. All right, so let's go ahead and do a problem. So we have our density of gold, and we're going to write it in terms of a conversion factor. So we're going to take our mass of gold, and we're going to put grams on the bottom, milliliters on the top, so we're going to flip-flop our uh, density. So we're going to have 19.3 grams on the bottom, one milliliter on the top, so we're going to divide 45.9 by 19.3. We're going to get 2.37823 milliliters of gold. Now again, we have way too many digits there. Uh, our, we only have three sig figs, 45.9 grams of gold. So we need to limit this to three sig figs. So one, two, three. Look at the next number. It's eight. That means we're going to round up. So 2.38 milliliters of gold. All right, let's do another, vol uh, another mass to volume conversion. So a cork stopper from a bottle of wine has a mass of 3.78 grams. Uh, we know the density of cork, this particular cork, is 0.22 grams per centimeter cubed. What is the volume of the cork? So go ahead and try that one, and then we'll go over the answer. All right, so we're going to use the density again as a conversion factor. So remember, we can write that density as 0.22 grams over one centimeter. So there's 0.22 grams per one centimeter of volume. Um, let's flip that conversion factor because we have grams of cork and we want to go to volume of cork. So, um, so we're going to put grams on the bottom, 3.78 divided by 0.22 grams, and then of course multiplied by one, and we're going to get 17.181818 centimeter cubed of cork. Okay, now again, we have uh, too many significant figures. Our density only had two significant figures. Our um, mass had three, but the lower of the two is two significant figures. So let's go one, two, the next number is a one. So we have 17 cubic centimeters of cork. All right, so let's just go over what we've learned this time. So density, relates a substance mass and volume, okay? And you can use it to calculate volume from a given mass, or you can use it to calculate mass from a given volume. You should memorize the equation for density. Density is equal to mass over volume, and make sure you can easily calculate mass from volume, easily calculate volume from mass using the density of a substance. And it goes without saying that you should be able to calculate a density value if you have both the mass and the volume with units.